Hey guys, what's up? So today I'm going to show you how to draw a white tiger. And of course, if you want it to be just a standard orange tiger, you could color it in orange as well, but it's going to be white on this one. So we're going to start just about the middle of our page with the tiger's nose. So what we got to start with is a curved line right in the middle. So just for the middle of the nose, just a little curved line like that. And this comes out to sort of like wings that stick out this way, just there. And the same on the other side, just there. So it's like a sort of a bird flying kind of thing. And then we will keep going down around. So we can add in some nostrils. So we'll curve down this way, down there. And the same on the other side, down here. And they come together at the bottom to a sort of a bumpy shape down here with a line just up this way. And so then we can make um, those nostrils a bit thicker. So we just in here, just color this black, just in there, making it darker. And then extend that dark patch just up around the nose, just there. And we can do the same on this side too. So we just make this a bit darker. And extend it up around this side of the nose there. Just there. Now, so what we'll do is bring, do those curved lines that felines, cats have. So it comes down around the mouth. So it's curved this way. See that? So it comes down from the nose and curves around. And then this keeps going. So it goes around here like that. And you can do the same on the other side. And now what we'll do is make this line a bit darker, just in here to show sort of the gap between the bottom lip and the top. So you just make that darker, just here. And we'll do the same over this side. So you're kind of just making a shadow just between the top and bottom lip. And then while we're here, we can add the chin. So it's just sort of hairy zigzag lines that come down just all around, just all there. So it's like a sort of a fuzzy chin. And then we're going to come up. So we're going to, we'll do the, the eyes, right? So we're going to come up from the nose. So you're coming up about here. So we'll have the ears up here, the eyes here. So the eyes are about halfway between the top of the head and the chin, about. See if you measured. So we're gonna we're gonna imagine a line coming up the middle of the nose, just here. So imagine like this is the center of the nose between the eyes. And then we're gonna come over and we're gonna just do a line across for the top eyelid, just here. And then you can come over and try and keep it sort of symmetrical. So see this line is underneath, just like beside the nose here. And then we come over and we'll do the same here on this side. So it curves across like that. So you want it to sort of look like his eyes are closed slightly. And then under there we can draw in the iris. So we'll do, we'll do this side first. So we just curve around a curved line up, just like that, in there, and another one on the other side. So we're curving around. 
and then in here these lines will go diagonal back down towards the nose. So we just bring this down like this and same on the other side. And then we'll bring that cats have this, well tigers especially and lions have these darker shades inside the nose here close to the eye. So you can just shade that in and curve it back up around that iris this way. And then you can add a pupil inside there, so just here. And then we'll go ahead and do the same on the other side. So we'll shade this in dark, bring it up under the iris, the color part of the eye, and that this will keep going around just to there. And then you can add in a pupil in there too. Not bad. Right, so these have patterns that come off the, the edges of them. So we're going to go diagonal this way, down, and then up. So it's those black patterns that are on the cat's fur. Then we can add a little, just a little line for an eyelid, just there, tiny. You can put that in if you want, it's not essential. I'm just a stickler for detail, that's all it is. And then we'll do the same on this side, so this curves up into a sort of a hook, a little bit down that way. Just there. And then there's sort of lines for the inside of the nose, just this way. One. And another one here. Don't worry if they're not exactly the same. Faces on animals and humans aren't perfectly symmetrical. We could do some, extend that side of the nose with some lines that way. a bit thicker. Right, so we'll go right up to the top and we'll add in the ears. So we'll keep this imaginary line we had going right up to the top, just up here. And we'll start doing the forehead. So it's just these bumpy sort of furry lines just here. So you can just sketch them in any way you like. If you want to make it look hairy, you can keep it just a straight curved line if you want it. And then this will curve up around the ear, all the way around. Again, you can be furry, just like that. And then we will do the same on the other side. So we'll just keep going around. Like this. Just about there. Now in there, so the white tiger has a darker black tip on top of the ear, so you just draw that in around here, and it curves back this way. Just there, and you can color that in dark. And then you can add some lines for fur inside there if you want it, just to show that there's an inner ear as well. And we'll do the same on the other side. So make this edge of the ear just a bit thicker. comes down and extends in here. And then we can add some fur lines in there. Page keeps moving, sorry. Yeah, so keep going. Fur lines. And 
Yeah, so we can do, so we're gonna go around the face, right? So we're gonna go just all, all the way around. It's a really wide head. All the way around to that chin that we did for our lines there, that way. And then you can do the same on the other side. So real furry all the way around from the ear all the way. All the way up. Maybe a line for shoulder there. Now, so what we can do is start adding in the pattern lines that make up the tiger's face, right? So the, that black and white sort of, um, those black and white lines that are on the tiger's face. So we'll start just with one, just a little one, just here right in the middle of the forehead. So these, you know, these irregular patterns and things that they have. And we'll work our way out from there. So we have some that come down, so they're kind of bumpy. So you're just adding these patterns. So a couple above the eye. Dot there. I think it's pretty much the same on the other side. So we add one here. Real thick. Like a dot there as well. And then we have one that starts to come in towards the brow. Right? So they kind of go around in a circular pattern. So when this one comes in this way. There's another one here. Fill them all in, and it's okay if they're hairy looking, that will actually add to the effect, to their mirror each other, another line in the middle, a random sort of butterfly sort of shape here. Some that come out this way towards the ear. Along here, some just at the bottom of the ear there. Some right near the top of the head, curving in, curving in to show that bump down the middle of the head. And then we can make the top a bit thicker in places to show some darker fur up there. And then here, so these ones actually keep going all the way around towards the mouth. So they'll keep going, this one, like sort of different patterns all the way around to the mouth, just here. So I'll start this one first. So it's kind of stop starty, so it's like dots. Little dots like that. And then it comes all the way, so it keeps going. It's a thick black line, black fur line. All the way down. And then we can do the same on the other side. So it starts up here, just like that. And then we have so just here, and it starts to come underneath the ear. So there, and then all the way, keeps going all the way down. All the way down towards the mouth, just down there. 
Nice and dark. And there is a thick enough one just on the side of his head here. And this comes down underneath the neck. So it comes all the way. So this way. If you can see that. So all the way down the page. Film that all in, and then so we'll finish the ones the patterns on the rest of the face. <coughs> so we'll go thicken this one up just a bit here, and there's another one above the eye, just here, a round sort of one, another one in here, and there's some underneath the eye, so a little dot, a little dash. It's kind of like Morse code. Right there. A line, maybe a line just coming down from the nose just there. And we have a rounder sort of one just underneath. Following that shape of the eye, just curving around. And then here. Oh, there's a big long one in here actually. Just down towards the face, it sort of gets a bit wider. Just there, there. So just adding these patterns. So you keep going, this is what makes the tiger look much more characteristic and different to other big cats. And then there's like lines for whiskers, dot lines, and they go diagonal, right? So it's just dot, 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 and then another one over here, just dots. And the whiskers grow out of those dots. Just there. So you can keep adding as many as you want. As many layers of it as you want. Just there, and we'll jump over and we could do the same on this side. So start sort of underneath this nostril here. Just beside it, you go curves around that shape on the on the face, just here. Curves around, follows that. Just there. Another one underneath. Da -da -da. Another one. Just like that. And then we'll do more of the patterns coming up on this side. And again, feel free to slow down the video, even pause. Pause, play, pause, play, hit the space bar. You can use a pencil. And I would love to know how you got on if you actually followed this tutorial. I would love to hear how you got on. If it worked out, if it was too hard, too easy even. <coughs> I'd love to hear how you got on. So you can see that these patterns are like, oh, it's like the hair is growing up this way, like around the face. So it's not going up and down or side to side. It's going in like a curve, like concentric circles all around. Just 
just to add some lines to show a bit of shadow underneath this eye. And yeah, so I'll do a line just coming down here for the side of the body, a line this side, some darker fur coming down underneath the chin and the face. So I'll just put just patterns like underneath, darken this up a bit, make it a bit more clear. This comes right down. And then there's another dark line here. Just coming this way. And then there is a line just up this way. Black line there thicker, comes all the way up this way, so here, sorry I'm singing to myself, sorry. Really boring. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Okay, I think that is it. Of course, we can color the nose, the eyes, etc. But oh, whiskers. Sorry, gotta do that before. Of course, white takers um, have white whiskers usually, but just for the purposes of this, I'll make them black. And there you go, white tiger. Or of course, if you wanted to color it in orange, it'd be a normal tiger. That's a long video, sorry. Cheers, like and subscribe.